no matter in what feeding system, the, the quality of water is extremely important and lots of availability. So that's, that's something that you can't get around. That, that's really important. That's more important than good feed. Even though they were swath grazing and there may be abundance of snow too, we found that if they were provided with fresh water, they would walk half to three quarters of a mile for water every day. So that told me that, that they required that extra water. We start close to the water and as they're grazing they got to go further away and I, I like the fact that they get their exercise. We start calving uh, in the 10th of February and uh, we're kind of all done grazing corn by the end of January. So at the end they have to walk uh, a minimum of a half a mile for the water and really don't have any calving issues as far as the cows not getting the job done. We generally don't get enough good snow out here to uh... Uh, to winter cows on properly there you know there there's always some snow that they'll lick but I, I think I like to be able to have a, a water option for them just in case you you get some winters with you know basically no snow so we've used um, nose pumps for I think it's probably eight to ten years now they're very simple uh, reliable uh, not much maintenance to them um, they've worked worked very very well for us quite simple to set up especially off a of new dugout construction. If something was ever to happen to your wet well, you could still, still go onto the dugout and, and make a hole so you're, you're, uh, you do have kind of a backup with the dugout being there. We have wintered on snow for many years, but some years there is no snow. And so we pump water on the days we can. Most days we're pumping water now. And our cattle will alternate back and forth. Some cows are too lazy to drink at the water and some come every day and sometimes the water troughs froze so solid you can't get any in it for a couple days. But generally we always have water available or we have lickable snow. It has to be quality enough snow to make them work. The first snow fall in the fall. If your cows start licking then, you're good for the winter. But if you lose your snow in the fall and you gotta come to water and then you gotta start them back on snow, that's definitely hard on cows and it takes a while. But Cows that start when you get a good snowfall in the fall and they start, they're perfect. That's all they need. My preference is the snow. But be careful grazing corn and snow. When you go into a 10 acre paddock with 170 cows, they will tramp that in three, four days. You do have to have an open paddock behind you where they can go for fresh snow. That'd be very dangerous just to lock them in 10 acres because they will not get enough snow there. You have to open that paddock into somewhere else. So we found that it's really important to have access to fresh water um, during spring breakup. Um, at that time, um, we found that cows can be a little bit lazy and they'll stop at the closest water source. So it might be a slough or a puddle and it's not the cleanest and best water for them to use. Year round watering is so important so you can have flexibility. Because a lot of times why, why the animals come home in, in the fall is because there's no water. It's froze up. 